Hello, my comrades. It's been a while. I know it's been chaos. I know it's been gruesome. I can't give you hope. I can't say it's going to get better from here on out. Honestly, it'll probably only get worse. What I can give you are facts about what we're dealing with. Contrary to propaganda, we are not experiencing a zombie apocalypse. Ever since Trump's hostile takeover of our government, the evil capitalist scum have been developing a virus. They designed it to keep us, the voice of the people, the voice of democracy and reason, submissive. They want us to be like the caged pigs in their food factories, quiet, contained, and compliant. It was intended to isolate the amygdala, the part of the brain linked most prominently to fear and aggression. Once removed, the individual becomes docile. Unfortunately, the virus mutated, instead permanently stimulating the part of the amygdala triggering aggression. The virus then spread, while the thalamus, reticular formation, and the brainstem, which is responsible for automatic survival functions like heartbeat and breathing, is still functioning, the afflicted are not what we can properly call human. The virus targets the cerebellum, the ability to regulate emotion, judge time, discriminate sounds, remember, and learn are all virtually destroyed. Impaired coordination is all the cerebellum can now accomplish. The prefrontal cortex is significantly impaired, causing severe destruction of personality. The hypothalamus is no longer able to maintain a steady internal state. However, the hippocampus, which is the control center of memory and emotion, sustained the greatest damage. There is serious deterioration of acetylcholine-producing neurons. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that enables muscle action, learning, and memory. There are also heightened levels of epinephrine, which contributes to aggression on the part of the disease. The bottom line, your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones do not love you. They do not know you. They do not remember you. You cannot help them. You cannot save them. What you can do is save others. You can fight the tyrannical government that released this virus. You can liberate the oppressed. You can win freedom for others. Remember those you have lost and fight for them. But do not let them infect you. Power to the people!